Okay, do you have the problem that when you open Valorant, you open it and then it doesn't open? So Valorant is not open of starting up? Then I have a few different solutions for you. So follow along and your problem should be fixed. Now, here's what you need to do. First of all, close down every instance of Valorant. What you're going to do is you're going to open up this thing right here and close down Valorant. So exit Vanguard. Yes. Once you've done that, right click here and open Task Manager. Now go to, go to the Details section and look for something like Valorant, Riot or anything like that. If you see anything, click on it and then click on End Task. If you've done that, you can close this down. Now right click on Valorant, go to Open File Location, then go to Riot Games right here. Go to Valorant, go to Live, go to Shooter Game, go to Binaries, go to Win64, and then scroll down till you have Valorant Win64 Shipping. Right click on this, click on Properties, go to Compatibility, and here click Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Click on Apply, and then click on OK. Now you can close this down. So the next thing we're going to do is click here and search. Now search for Services, open this up, and now press the V, and we're going to look for VGC. So you have VGC, right click on it, click on properties and then startup type, change it from manual to automatic, click on apply and then click on start right here. When it's loaded, you can click on OK and close this down. Now we're going to search in Windows once again. So here search for MC config and here we have shift system configuration. Once it's opened up, you can click on services and now search for VGC again, here we have VGC and make sure that the box here is ticked. If you if it's unticked and you want to tick the box, click on it and then here click on OK and then click on OK. Then just uh, close this. Now we're going to press Windows and R at the same time. So this will open up. And here we're going to type the following percent app data percent. Press on OK. And now in the top, click on app data. Go to local and you should search for Riot Games. Open Riot Games. Go to Riot Client, go to Data, and then here you have Riot Games Private Settings.yaml. So right click on it, click on Rename, and you should click on the YAML, and then uh, behind it, press, and behind it, write dot number one. Press on Enter, click Yes, and now it will be renamed. If you've done that, you can close it down. And next, we're going to open Device Manager. Right here, search for Device Manager, open it up, and then click on the drop down menu on the display adapters. Go to your graphics card that either is Radeon or anything else. Right click on it and click on update driver. Search automatically for drivers and make sure that the best drivers are installed. Close it down, close it down. At this moment, we're gonna search for uh, graphic settings. Open this up. So now you have to look where Valorant is installed. So go to your icon, right click on it, click on open file location. And then here I have right client services.exe. So normally it's located in this spot on your C drive. So what you're going to do, you're going to click on browse right here. And then you're going to go to this spot. So open your C drive, then open right games, open right client, and then click on right client services.exe. Click on add, and then here click on options. Make sure it's on high performance mode and then click on save. Now, please close all of this down. And then the last thing that we will do is right click on Valorant, go to properties, go to compatibility. And here, if you have run this program as an administrator, if you have it enabled, then disable it and click on apply and then click on OK. Now, the next thing what you now have to do is you have to restart your PC. So restart your PC and after you restart it, you should be able to load up Valorant and it should be working. Now, I hope this tutorial helped you and that your problem is fixed. And I'd say thank you for watching.